Okay guys, when you get yours back, if you have not finished the weaving part, that's your first priority. And then the second step today is all these little tabs, we're gonna start to glue them down. So just take a glue stick, glue, press it down. You're gonna go through all the tabs and then flip it over. And you're gonna do the same thing on the back side. You're, so you're gluing down all these little side pieces, okay? That way our strips can't fall out or can't be taken out. Okay, the next thing is we are gonna to start to think about what kind of animal is going to be under our blanket. So this could be like a quilt or a blanket, however you wanna think about it. And then you're gonna to start to think about what kind of animal. This person has already drawn her little sleeping sloth with a cute little hat. I have printouts of different animals for you. So the very first step is you're going to get a little sheet of paper and we're going to need to be gluing down this to the back. So we're going to actually draw a line and that whole part right there is going to have to be glued. So we're not going to draw below that line. So just draw a line, maybe leave about like four fingers space like this and just kind of scribble on it. That way you know not to draw below this line. The next step is you're gonna to start to draw your animal's face. Now I'm gonna choose a little monkey, a little sleeping monkey for mine. So I'm gonna take this up to the window and you guys can do that too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So monkey, paper on top, take it to the window. And I'm gonna line it up right where that line is. So his face should touch that line right there. I know you can't see it, I'm gonna draw this really fast. Okay, so I drew that really, really fast. It's kind of hard to draw with pencil on a window. So if you feel more comfortable just drawing it yourself without tracing, you can do that too. Or you can do like the biggest steps and then you can do all the small steps at your table. That way your hand's not shaky or wobbly because that window is really hard to draw on. Okay, after you have your drawing done, then of course you can start coloring it in really, really nicely. You can use markers, color pencils, crayons, but we're not going to paint these because this paper is not good for paint. Okay, so all your little details and then whenever you're ready, you can either cut out your animal's face or some people like to make like a little pillow for him. So you could draw like a little rectangle in the back. Maybe you have different shapes or different designs on your pillow. Okay, we're gonna spend today and next time working on this. And then whenever you're ready, you're just gonna glue on your weaving or your blanket and it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.